Hey guys, so let's talk today about internal edits in an actuality and writing into tape. We're going to do this in Audacity because I am at home. So for those of you who aren't familiar with Audacity, you're going to go to File, which you can't quite see on this, uh, and then you'll import a piece of audio. Um, I already have one piece of audio in here if you would like to stick an audition most of what I'm gonna tell you is exactly the same in audition as it is in audacity so I've got this longer piece of tape that I've listened to and I've selected a cut from it right here I'm gonna copy that cut and if I was in audition, I would paste it into a new audio uh, waveform. But in Audacity, I'm just going to paste it into the second track. I always like my pieces of audio as I'm beginning to edit them to be at the very at the zero marker. You don't have to do that, but if you do do that, you can use this handy dandy move tool to shift it over. Be careful not to overshift it because as you can see based on these arrows here now a portion of your audio is playing pre-roll so you won't hear it and you won't be able to see it for editing. Switch to your magnifying glass tool your zoom and zoom in. And now I'm at about five second intervals that's a pretty good place to start. Go back to my selection tool and use this down here to scroll all the way to the beginning. Solo it out so you're just listening to this and take a listen. And, uh, the first place we went to was uh, the scene of this uh, incident. Well, this guy was, was, I mean, he was a looter. He had uh, about 20 boxes loaded up on a truck of uh, beans. And okay, as you can tell, the person who I'm talking with is older and struggles to speak quickly. I don't want to change who he is. That is not my job. This is never my job when I am working uh, in, in representational audio. So if I'm looking to report a story for news or I'm looking to, con to include someone in a podcast, it's not my job to make them sound like an, a radio announcer. It's my job to help them sound like themselves in a way that's easy for the listener to encounter. That's part of it. Now the other part of it is writing into the cut. So that makes me want to take you over to my script. Let's do that. Okay, now here we are over in my script and what you can see is that I've I haven't written a host lead here. I've just written a couple of lines that would put me that would set me up for this piece of audio. I have a general idea of what the audio I want is. It's, it needs to be about somebody looting. So first I write a line that sets that up. During the Augusta riot, police fanned out across the city trying to rein in the violence and theft. That sets us up. Now I'm going to introduce the person who's talking. Former officer Lewis Dinkins says he remembers coming upon one looter in particular. It's this last part that's going to set me up for my clip and allow me to cut out a bunch of what he's just said. So let's go back to this here. First off, well, this guy was, was I mean, he was a looter. He had, though. I think I can cut all the way from 19 or 18 to 2. 
And so I'm just going to highlight, and if I want to re-listen to that, I press and, the space uh, bar. The first place we went to. And it'll play just the highlighted selection. Then I press delete. And ta-da, now I have a few seconds of room tone and breath that I can use to play with as I work into that actuality in my mix. He had uh, about 20 boxes loaded up on a truck of uh, beans and stuff, you know, canned goods and things like that. All right, so now first things first, Let's zoom in again. And what I want to capture here is beans and canned goods. I want to get rid of his mouth noise. And I provided you with a video link in another, uh, in, uh, on, on D2L that shows you how to do this when that sort of mouth noise happens in the middle of a word. But here I just get to do this. I'm going to go back two seconds to make sure that it sounds natural. Truck of uh, beans and stuff, you know, canned good. And now here I'm going to go, I think I can cut this right here. Stuff, you know. Yeah, that looks good. Back up again. Of uh, beans and canned goods and things like that. And again, here I know because this is a lower, it's hardly registered, but you can hear it. It's just me asking a question. This is stuff like that, so I can cut that as well. Uh, uh, it was on, it was on, uh... Now, this then, we've got some filler here. And I've got a much longer actuality that I could use here. But let's just start with what I've got. This right here. He comes across someone. Uh, and the length of that is, is from, well, let's change that to length. It's 10 seconds, 10 and a half seconds. So that's pretty good for an actuality. But I want something more to happen in it. So I'm going to move, I'm going to zoom out a little so that I can get to the part where he talks about this guy running away. Oh, I think that was it. But he, this guy was running. And uh, but again, it was pitch black. They connected with a knowledge at a dead end. Either had to go left or right. So I delete that midsection, zoom back in, whoops, not out. Canned goods. And... That was it, but he, this guy was running. And, uh... Okay, so there's my edit mark. Beans. Mm. Actually, I'm going to zoom it out a little bit here. I was running. I'm sorry, guys. There's no edit. There's no edit mark on this because it's just deleting it as though it wasn't there in the first place. Indications that my brain is a little wonky. All right, so I add the action element. Buck of uh, beans and canned goods. And... That was it, but he, this guy was running. So I have two options here. Goods and... He says and, which makes the listener think, oh, I, I should listen for that. There's something else. But really, there's not. Now, with the word goods, I've got the G here, and the way that that G explodes right at first, and then the S at the end, and the S trails out. So listen to that. Goods. 
But if I start right here, I can see that an and is forming. So I need to be really careful as I edit this because I don't want to remove his S. I don't want to cut off that S. And really, the S and the and are going to blend together. So I need to be careful to take out just enough of the and that you don't hear the a, ah, but not so much that you notice that the s has stopped. Let's see what that looks like. I'm going to zoom back out. Ken, good. OK, not too bad. Let's undo it and listen to it again and hear the difference. Ken, good. Okay, and now we can redo that delete, listen to it again. Ken, good. So it's a little sharp. What I might want to do here is internally fade that. The other thing that I'm going to do, though, is, is give the, the listener less time to contemplate that edit. So... Ken Goods, that was it, but he was just... Let's back out a little bit further so we can listen to a little bit more. Well, Beans and Ken Goods, that was it, but he was, this guy was running. Okay, there we go. So, not too shabby, and I'll go back so that I can see all of it. Now one of the nice things in Audition is that I can window shade, and I can't window shade here, so I'm just left with the fade. So let me adjust that. This is me fading in Audition. And I can fade pretty significantly because I've got a lot of time to play with. So I can really bring that up slowly. He had to. Well, I think I want to do it even more. He had. And this is your outer envelope, the max capacity. This this brighter white is where the active audio is playing. So now that I've taken a look at that can go over here and I can do the same thing. I use my pincher and pinching is going to automatically bring my audio down so I'm going to need to pull it back out. I always want to fade all the way out and but I don't want to cut them off so that might be good right there. Let's see. This guy was running. Well, there we go, that sounds nice. Okay, so here we've got our piece of audio. Um, the whole clip is, n it, the, the whole piece of audio is not the same as the length of the actuality. The actuality's length of that selection is 12.9 seconds, so 13 seconds. So I'm going to come back in a second video and show you how I would write into that with a cut, with a script, excuse me.